Astra, an aerospace company sending satellites, not people, into space, is debuting on the NASDAQ today. The Bill Gates-backed company is listing at a $2 billion valuation via SPAC. And joining us now, along with our own Morgan Brennan, is Astra founder and CEO Chris Kemp. Chris, uh, great to have you. Uh, the, the business of space, as we look into the future, fascinating because of the, the potential that we're seeing now in reusability and, I guess, frequency of launches that, that is going to allow a, a different kind of economics. Tell us first what Astra adds to that. Well, you know, there's a trillion dollar space economy that's developing and hundreds of companies over the past few years have been formed. Many of them will join Astra on public markets uh, in the months ahead. And they're all trying to go to different places in space on different schedules and having a small system where we can uh, frequently launch from anywhere on Earth to anywhere in space is the really only way that they're going to be able to develop, innovate, and get new capabilities into Earth orbit uh, to develop uh, new applications. Now, it's a, a new business, relatively speaking, for investors to understand. So help us understand what the path to profitability looks like. As you do uh, ramp that frequency and get better and better at having a higher yield of what you're actually able to deliver, uh, is that what leads to the, the profitability that investors are going to want to see? That's right. Just think about the economies of scale when you start making hundreds or even thousands of very small rockets. It's, it's like a, a Cessna. Uh, companies like Textron make hundreds of them per year. Our rocket weighs almost exactly as much as a small aircraft, and it shouldn't cost much more than that to produce either as long as you're producing them at scale. Only two ways to get to space are to build a giant rocket and get the, uh, the efficiencies that you get out of a massive rocket. Uh, there's some great work going on in that area. Uh, or to build a rocket factory and just make as many rockets as you can and bring costs down through economies of scale. Chris, it's Morgan. Congratulations on going public today. Um, just to dig into that a, a little bit further, I mean, gangbusters growth is what you're forecasting over the next four years as you do ramp production and you do ramp these launches. But um, there's obviously the technological and logistical uh, pieces that are involved in this, but also there, there is the customer base itself. Given the fact that we do have so much competition out there, I mean, just yesterday, Virgin Orbit with a second successful mission, SpaceX doing a dedicated ride share, plus you have other competitors like Rocket Lab out there. Is there enough demand for you to be able to get to daily launches? Well, we, ha we already have 50 launches under contract, and that represents over $150 million of revenue and over a billion dollars of additional backlog where we're, uh, we'll be flying even more uh, in the future. Uh, there's, a, there's a tremendous amount of demand and not very much supply. If you look at some of the companies that you named, uh, there are very few flights actually going where those customers want to go and exactly when they want to get there. And that's where Astra stands apart. Uh, it's just like if you go to the airport and book a flight, you don't book that a year or two in advance. Uh, that's what you have to do with some of the larger rockets. Uh, with Astra, uh, we'll have so many flights, you'll be able to just get on the next one. We'll be able to provide next day space. We'll be able to provide the kind of flexibility uh, that a new growing economy and, and growing marketplace requires. And of course, we know the next major milestone and what investors, the new investors in your company are now going to be focusing on in the near term is that launch of Rocket 3.3, that, that new iteration after you did have that launch last December that reached space but didn't quite make orbit. When is that going to happen? Uh, that'll happen before the end of the summer and that will kick off our first commercial launch and we'll be doing uh, about a dozen of those starting monthly before the end of the year. And uh, we, we do have uh, 15 of those flights scheduled for next year already and that'll ramp up until we reach daily space delivery where I think we'll really truly uh, reach an inflection point where uh, space will truly be accessible to this new generation of entrepreneurs and companies that are building all these exciting new applications.